Nation, it's your boy Isaac Reed, and we are back with another reaction. Um, just woke up, so you know, I'm back to my reactions and things like that. Uh, we're almost at 1700 subscribers, so make sure you guys keep subscribing. And we got another WW2K17 video today. Hope you guys enjoyed all the videos I posted yesterday. Um, and yeah, so the video is called WW2K17 News, Potential Roster, Inclusion, Bailey, New Weapons, Backstage Brawl, and more WW2K17. Now, I have a funny feeling that Bailey might be a DLC, so um, who knows? We have to check it out. I hope she's not a DLC this year. I will have to go, I'm going to have to go pre-order the game. Uh, I might pre-order the game before it comes out. I'm just trying to get that Goldberg so we can play some Goldberg on there. And uh, so let's get into it. Uh, if you do not want to watch the video, the link in the description will be down below, Re Nation. So, uh, yeah. Welcome back to the channel and to even more 2 in 17 news and updates. A bit like the previous video, not a massive of new information today, but still a thing or two still to cover, such as potential roster inclusions, some new weapons, plus more. So, new that said, let's get this one underway and let's see what we've got. Okay, so let's kick this one off with what seems to be some brand new 2v17 weapon confirmations. Now from the gameplay already released, we already know that to go along with the existing weapons like ladders and chairs, we now also have the trash can back in the series, we also have some steel shelving, but today potentially some more brand new weapons, because coming via GameSpot's hands-on impression video, which you can see linked down below, they have confirmed that a TV can also be used as a weapon, noted a TV? how they a TV from one room into the corridor, and then use that as a striking weapon. Now we did see a TV in a locker room in that That's release gameplay. That's going to be pretty dangerous to use a TV as a weapon. There, but that TV can be taken off the room and used as a weapon. It's also confirmation that we can also take weapons from one area to another. And it's also been suggested there is a briefcase backstage as well. Which I would guess is likely going to be in the authority office. That can also be used as a new weapon. <clears throat> Sticking to backstage gameplay. Again as we saw in that release gameplay we got to see Triple H appearing and leaving the authority's office. Well, it has also been confirmed today that Triple H won't be the only authority member backstage, as it has also been confirmed that Stephanie McMahon has also been spotted in that office. Hey, Mr. Man. It's also been said that unlike in the release gameplay, the authority member doesn't necessarily always... Is that extended room, game? Play? ...sometimes actually stays in the room and watches the action. So, for me, the backstage ball gameplay is going to be awesome this year, and it's good to see we have still got That's the extended gameplay. So, fingers crossed. Because we, we didn't see him get hit with chess, yeah, we didn't see that part. Year, gets a thumbs up from me, and should make for a pretty awesome 2 v 17 edition. Moving on, and a little note now on Bailey being in the game, because as we know officially at this point, Bailey has not been confirmed for the roster. She has. So as we did cover in a previous video, Sasha Banks has unofficially confirmed Bailey for the game. So even though at this point her inclusion oh, no. doesn't seem like a given, another clue for her potential inclusion could be that when zoomed in on this picture as part of Suplex City, it looks like one of Bailey's entrance props can be seen. Now it is small, so <clears> obviously <throat> not completely clear, but to me at least... Hey, hey, it hey he might be on something, he might be right. See. Bailey of might course, be in inclusion. We will find out either way about Bailey's inclusion on Tuesday when we get the fifth and final roster reveal. Which I will be uh, Another uh, small doing. now continuing on from that previous video, because as we covered in that video, we mentioned about the submission system being limited online. Well, a further note on that is that when playing offline multiplayer, even though when playing offline, you do have the option to play the older 2K16 system or the newly alternative system, both players will have to choose the same method, so it's not possible for one player to use one and the second player to use the other. Oh, yeah. So, just some confirmation there that when playing offline, all players will have to choose and agree on what submission system is going to be used. Lastly today, some news on another potential roster inclusion, on this time none other than Bad News Barrett. Now, as we know, Barrett left the company back in May of this year, yeah. so the situation in terms of the game has been left a little unclear. But a little news today that might give Barrett fans a little bit of hope, and that news is that one of the game stores here in the UK have a promotion where you can win a copy of the game hand-signed by none other than Bad News Barrett himself. So, would Barrett sign a game as part of a promotion unless he was on the roster? Or is this a hint that Bad News Barrett is going to be featured? I wouldn't care if he went on the game or not. He, may, Honestly, he wasn't really that fun of a character. This could go either way. But it is also worth mentioning that Stardust, who left the company in the same month as Barrett, has already been confirmed for the yeah. roster. So, if Barrett Which is stupid, is definitely but possible. And hey, you know, it's whatever. Put him in the game, yeah. We will wait on Tuesday morning as we have got the fifth and final roster reveal taking place next week. 
And yeah, that is it for this one. So another 2 v 70 video done and dusted. So do let me know your thoughts on today's news as a comment down below. And as always, stay tuned to the channel for plenty more 2 v 17 content coming very, very soon. And until next time, this has been 101. And I will see you all on the next one. Um, real quick. I noticed that was some extended gameplay because we never, I didn't get to actually see some of them parts like we, uh, he, uh, Brock hit him with the trash can. I didn't get, we didn't get to see it from the trailer that I saw, from the gameplay trailers that I saw. Um, so far, I think next year, maybe next week, we're going to get a trailer, uh, some entrances, uh, more screenshots and stuff like that. I definitely will be, uh, checking that out. I don't know, um, when they're, uh, revealing it. If, I hope it's. Uh, I got I'm busy Tuesday, but I'll try to get I'll try to get through some of it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, most definitely, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be on it, and uh, I'm pretty much excited for the game. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can. I'll probably when I first get the game, I will be doing my career first thing first. I'll upload my careers heavily, and then after that, I will probably get into some gameplay. So guys, uh, stay tuned to that. And I hope we get some my career next week. Uh, you know what? We might we might get all this Monday. You know what I'm saying? If we get all this Monday, I'm pretty much straight uploaded and uh, things like that. And we're almost at 1,700 subscribers. We're like 30 away. So, guys, keep subscribing. Like, like I said, tell your friends about me. Tell your family about me. And tell them to subscribe to my channel. Check out my videos. You know what I'm saying? And I'm out, I'm out reading nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.